guys it's your girl Ray Fierce I'm back with another video and today we are doing a foundation review on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills hydrating foundation or luminous I'm sorry not hydrating luminous foundation and yeah if you guys want to see my thoughts and see this look then continue to watch what's up guys let's hop into the video it's ray fierce i'm back with another video and today we are doing a foundation review video i'm pretty sure you guys already know about the title we're doing anastasia beverly hills foundation yay this is what the foundation looks like um it says foundation on the side of the bottle um this foundation is a hydrating foundation i don't really know much about it I just knew it was new, so I need to get it to review it. So let me go on Sephora and look up some specs. Okay, so details. Sephora is the water resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous natural finish and is long wearing even without setting powder. Setting it with powder or whatever. The coverage is medium, the finish is natural, formula is liquid. Um, skin type, normal dry combination, and oily, guys. It says oily as well. And it comes in 50 shades. So, yeah, um, I got the shade 470. While I was at BeautyCon, guys, I ended up getting, like, color match for the shade. And, to be honest, the shade range really isn't what I expected. So, that's the shade that I got, 470C. This is what the bottle looks like. The bottle is very pretty. It's very sleek, for sure. And it says foundation on the side. I thought that was real nice and cute. Um, and yeah, I do have oily skin, oily combination skin. So we're gonna see how this foundation works out for us, whether we're gonna keep it or we're not gonna keep it. Um, the winter months are coming, so we'll see. So now I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. I'm using a Garnier moisturizer. It's like a gel moisturizer. I love this stuff. So now that that's done, um, I do have the Jackie Anna palette, so I am gonna do some shadow. Um, if you wanna see that, go to my Instagram to see the mini Instagram video. I'm gonna upload with the shadow. So, yeah, let me go do my shadow and I'll be back. So, what's up, guys? We're about to get ready to try this foundation out. I'm going to use a brush to blend the foundation out. Um, but, yeah, I hope this foundation is bomb. Um, I'm no, I know it's going to be, like, bomb for the winter time. Because, honey, I'm going to do a wear test just to see how it is on all the skin. Like, what's t -sis? But just like I just know, I know what's tea already. <laughs> but we're gonna see. And it comes with a nice pump. Um, I pump like three pumps on the back of my hand. Maybe the first pump wasn't the full pump. And I'm gonna take my favorite brush. This is my Peaches and Cream brush, PC19. Oh, did I prime my face? I don't think I put on primer. Oh, look. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. primer, like I normally do, and just prime the parts where I normally prime. Honestly, like, I don't feel like primer is a must. Unless you have, I guess it is a must in certain areas. It just depends on what you wanna work on. But it's not a must to me. Uh, initially going on it feel it got a little smell to it it feels kind of um thick and it has a smell to it it's not like some kind of paint or something it don't smell good but I don't care about the smell I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna smell it after it's settled on my face. And this shade that I chose, 
I got color match for it. I went to the store trying to pick out my shade. Like, and this was the closest match. The man at the um at Beautycon was like, um, she's gonna come out with more shades. You probably that in between shade. Like what? And I'm gonna list my foundation shades that I'm normally. I haven't pumped no more out, so those three pumps was enough. And I feel like this shade don't look bad right now. Let's just see if it oxidizes and if it dry down, what happens then? It does look a little red. It definitely looks a little red, but that's okay. It can look red, a little warm kind of shade, I don't mind. So I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place Concealer and go in and highlight. And I decided to use this concealer because it's kind of hydrating like the foundation. I don't really care for this concealer. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and then start to blend it out. I really want this foundation to be balm, but I'm happy they are making stuff for people that has dry skin. So, so that way I won't be left out. So guys, I went to go with my beauty blender and I looked at myself in the mirror. This foundation is very warm. As far as the color go, it's very warm. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our contour. I'm using the Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna take my Lancome powder. I'm just trying to knock some of the shine out because it's very dewy <laughs> but it has a nice shine to it the foundation didn't really dry down too too much it still has a nice luminous glow it's really really pretty i don't like to be super matte but i like when my natural oil start coming through when i am super matte so now i'm gonna take my huda powder and cinnabon And y'all know I've been loving this blush. This is all I've been using. So pretty. And it goes with almost every look. Now we're gonna go in with some highlight. My favorite part. I don't know what highlight I wanna use. Yes. So I'm gonna take the Artist Couture Highlighter and Sugar Daddy. Sugar Daddy, baby.
So guys, um, it's about, let me see what time it is right now. It's 11, 12 right now. So let's just say 11 o'clock. I'm gonna do a wear test on this foundation, see how long it holds up on this all this skin, okay, honey? And yeah, I'll come in and check in with you guys probably like four hours from now. And yeah, I'll let you know what's tea, what's good, honey. What's up, guys? So I'm just checking in with you guys to show you what my foundation look like. And she don't look bad. She a little shoddy on the nose, but my T-zone, that's why I'm oily at, so I'm not shocked about that at all. It's a little oil, not too bad, and it's 3.30 right now, so it's been four hours and 30 minutes, and it's holding up well. This is what it's looking like. I'll check back in with you guys in another four hours to show you what it's looking like. And look at my small lines. Every foundation do this, though. All my small lines. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey y'all, I just heard me cut on the camera real quick. Cause I'm about to go back into work, but my face is not looking bad at all. Like I'm really, I'm shook. Okay, a bitch is shook. Okay, it is six o'clock. This is the time right here, six o'clock. So that means foundation been on for 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours. So far, um, I'm gonna take it off when it hit the 10 hour mark, but sis, I know I'm gonna be shining by 10 hours, but it lasted a full work day. Um, and yeah, it looks really good. Let me try to blot some before I go back into work. Like on my nose, it's a little shiny. And my lab lines, my lab line is really not bad. I mean, increase on air foundation, even MAC. But yeah. It looks really good. It looks really good. I'm just gonna blind. I'm not gonna use any like setting powder or nothing to keep the shine down. I'm just gonna blot it. Yes, honey. Let's shake it back a little bit. Let me blot some more. Y'all got trying to make sure I don't have nothing in my TV. If I do, please, please excuse me and ignore it. And I'm outside, so this is it in daylight. It looks really good. It looks really pretty. And yeah, I'll give you my final thoughts when I'm sitting back at home. Bye, guys. What's up, guys? <laughs> I look so shiny right now. Let me get some tissue right here. So black. Guys, so... Um, the way that I'm looking with these lights, I look hella greasy, but I knew I was gonna be greasy. But to say that this is a illuminating foundation, because it's not hydrating, it's an illuminating foundation, I feel like my face really isn't bad at all. Or whatever, like to say this is what it is, it lasted a long time. Um, it is about to be 10 o'clock tonight. I'm gonna head on 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 hours I had this foundation on or whatever. And that's a long time. Um, I feel like for the oldest young girls, the winter months is coming up. I think that this will be a good foundation for the winter months. I'm just gonna blot it and see what it looked like after I blot it. I blot it a little bit with the last checkup because I had to go back into work and I needed my makeup to stay looking popping. So I'm just gonna blot some. It doesn't look back new, but I'm not hella shiny anymore. And it has a nice radiance to it. I love the way that this foundation made my skin look. It just looked it so pretty. Um, I do think that they need to extend the shades of the foundation. They definitely don't have enough shades. Like, I feel like I was in between the shade, but I made it work. So, you know, honey, make it work if you have to make it work. But nobody wants to mix or buy two foundations, two $48 foundations. I'll have much foundation was. Nobody wants to buy two. I don't care if it was $5. I don't want to buy two foundations, okay? 
I want one. I want it to match. I want it to be workable. Okay, so this one was definitely workable. The shade actually looks good on me. Um, but sometimes when you go in and highlight and contour, it kind of brings it together for you. So, yeah. I think you guys should definitely try out this foundation. I like it. Um, I'm going to use it more. So, yeah. I really like the way that it came out. The foundation. And I'm probably going to... I'm not going to wear it again tomorrow. I have another review coming out tomorrow. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And let me know other reviews that you want to see. If the, even if the product is old, let me know in the comments. I'll do them. Review videos. And yeah, let me know what else you want to see besides review videos. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.